Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I got a lot of good reception from my previous cooking vlog. So I want to share another staple here for me in the house. So I am cooking steak and a sort of salad that I normally eat when I have it. So for the cut of meat that I'm using today, it's a strip loin that I got from Rustan's. The nice thing about it is it's only 180 pesos for this specific one. So okay siya for one person. Then I just have um, cherry tomatoes, garlic, onion, basil, and salt, pepper. And I'm gonna try this. I saw this in the pantry today. And butter. Now, the nice thing about it is it looks sort of expensive when it's cooked, but it's not. And in regards to taste, you don't feel like you're eating a relatively cheaper cut of meat, given now 180 pesos on top. So I'm just gonna season it now and let's get cooking. So first things first, we have to salt our steak or season our steak at that. So I'm gonna salt both sides with rock salt. Then I always pat it down, my hands are clean. Flip it. Same one. You know, when I discovered this in Restanza, I was so happy because normally their steaks are kind of pricey. And this one, I took a chance and I normally buy like 10 pieces of this at a time because for the price, masarap talaga siya. So, okay siya. It's not hard. So, you pepper both sides. And now I'm gonna try this thing my wife bought. The steak and chop seasoning. Zero calories then. So, I wanna see what it tastes like. So, let's massage. Massage it in there. Then, other side. Okay, so we seasoned the steak and now we're just gonna cook it. This recipe is super simple, guys. You can make it in probably like seven minutes max. So let's go to the kitchen. Okay, guys, so before you cook a steak, I just wanna give some tips on how to do it properly. Now, first things first is you have to make sure your pan is really, really hot and you only put the oil as soon as you're about to cook. Secondly, make it a point your steak isn't warm, isn't cold. So you have to leave it out for probably 30 minutes from your ref before you cook it. Because if, if it's cold, it'll be raw on the inside and cooked outside. And also, you need to rest your steak after you cook it. So we're gonna do that right now. So now my pan is hot. And I'm gonna use the pomas because we're roasting and frying. And we're basically cooking it at a very high temperature. Now, it has to be really hot because if it isn't, you're boiling your steak and you won't get that nice crust that people have on their steaks. So, you always place the steak away from you, like that. So, I normally like my steak medium rare, so I'm gonna time it. It's a minute and 30 per side for this specific cut of steak. So, while that's cooking, we're gonna do the salad. So, this is white onions, half an onion. So, put that in there till it's translucent. Okay, so multitasking tayo dito. Our steak is still good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw in our tomatoes and the garlic with the salad. So multitasking lang tayo with how it is. We just want it to blister and not overcook itself. Then, now we are going to flip our steak. So, like that. Whoop. No, I like it like that. So, that's perfect for me. So, it's pretty much halfway there. And we just have to watch this actually more than the steak. So, we'll just toss it around a little bit. Then, season with salt and pepper as well. Which I will get right now. Oh no, I forgot! Guys, chili flakes also for the salad. Then, let's put garlic salt. Okay guys, so this is how I normally baste my steak. So I let the steak rest for a little bit. So now I'm gonna put it back into the pan. So back here. Then I get the butter. Then I just throw the whole knob in. Then you just watch it melt.
and we're done cooking. You know, it really just takes like seven to ten minutes to cook it if you're just really prepared. Normally for me, I get hungry in the oddest hours, so whenever I cook this, it's always prepared. We always have one of these steaks in the ref. Now I can prepare it in 15 to 30 minutes so I can just eat. So I'm gonna start plating and show you guys what it looks like. So Sana naman lutusha na kakaya naman if I slice it and it's not. Oh, that's just fat. Ah, uh, it's lutusha. Diba? Ah, in its hands, my friends. My friends. Okay, let's slice it. How is it cooked? Uh, it's a little over than what I wanted, but it's still really good. So let's plate. That's how I like it. That's how you like it, yeah. Okay guys, and there you have it. Okay ba yung handheld mic ko ngayon? But yeah, normally when I eat it, I don't present it like this. But someone sent us these really beautiful plates. So I decided to plate it nicely naman so that it does justice with the plate. And if any of you are interested to know, this dish on its own costs less than I think 400 pesos to make. And most of the ingredients can be found inside your pantry. So I hope you guys try it. I hope you guys share it. And please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm almost at my goal. Please, kasi yung Danny Barreto na yan, kailangan, kailangan ko siyang talunin sa mga subscribers at views niya. So, <laughs> thank you so much for watching, guys. And I really hope you try it. And I hope you guys share this with your loved ones. And I hope it gets you a wife because it got me mine. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. I'll see you again soon.